Hello viewers, so welcome to my channel. I'm Hashim Ali Khan. In this video, I'm going to explain you about creation of a company in Tally. So already in the last four or five videos, I've explained you the meaning of the term computerized accounting, features, advantages, differences, then ERP, then what about accounting package Tally, Tally ERP 9. I've explained the features, advantages. The last video, short questions I've completed. If you have not watched the earlier videos, I suggest you to go to the playlist of my channel, select the subject computerized accounting, watch the starting videos, definitely you can get the basic fundamentals of computerized accounting. Now in this video, I am going to explain you the step by step uh, procedure of creating a new company in Tally ERP 9. So before that, take a screenshot of this uh, video so that you can be able to make the notes later on you can be able to refer it. After that, I'll explain you in detail regarding how to create a company in Tally ERP 9. So now I will discuss you in detail about the creation, creation of a company, steps to be followed to create a company in Tally ERP 9. So first of all, before starting the steps, first we must know what do you mean by company. So in accounting, in Tally, the meaning of accounting is, uh, the meaning of company is, company means the accounting entities. So any accounting entity will be treated as a company, whether it is a sole tradership or a partnership or a trust or a limited company. Every entity whose accounts are to be maintained, accounts are to be recorded, that entity will be treated as a company according to Tally ERP 9. So, so partnership, sole tradership, etc. which maintains and records all their business transactions by using the features of Tally. That means the entities whose accounts are maintained, to be maintained, to be recorded by using the features of Tally package that is called a company. Now procedure to create a company. How to create a company? Step by step we'll discuss. Step one, double click the Tally icon from the desktop. On the desktop, Tally package is there. Double click the Tally package, the Tally package will open. Screen appears showing options of the company information. So when you click the tally option, the screen will open showing the different options available as company information. Select create company. Then company creation screen will be displayed. When you select the create company option, then company creation screen will be displayed. These, these are the steps to create the company. Now information to be provided for creating the company step by step. I am going to explain you fields in the company creation screen when you get the company creation screen a number of fields are there so what are the items that you have to fill up in order to create the company now i am discussing one by one first directory <coughs> directory is the path where the data of the company have to be stored where the company want to store the data that is called the path directory so directory means the path of the data where the company wanted to store the data, accounting data. That is called directory. That is the first field. Second field is name. Here we enter the name of the company which appears in a tally ERP 9. Then mailing name. So when we mail, when we mail the documents or reports, the name should be specified. So what is the name to be specified in mailing? It may be the name of the company or you may enter a, any other name also in mailing address, mailing name. So the mailing name will automatically display the name of the company. Whatever name of the company you specified here, the same name will appear in mailing name. This can be altered if needed. If you want, if the user wants to keep a different mailing name, you can keep. The name of the company should be entered correctly for mailing purpose. So be careful, the user should be careful, careful in giving the mailing name because this name will appear whenever we mail the documents. Then third, fourth field is address. The next field is address. So here we have, we can enter the address of the company. It is not mandatory to enter. We have to give the complete address of the company. 
but this field is not mandatory if you don't want to give the name just press enter and skip over to the next field then country here we have to start type the name of the country where tally ERP is being used the country name we have to specify in this field next is state choose the name of the state from the list of state displayed the tally ERP 9 will show the list of all the states now we have to select where this tally package is being used in which state it is being used because this is necessary entering the name is necessary because important VAT information the value added tax the VAT will differ from state to state so if you specify the date uh, if you specify the state then correct VAT, VAT rates will be applied then pin code the pin code should be entered as per the specified address whatever address you have specified here for that address you have to give the pin code then telephone number here we enter the company's telephone number then mobile number here enter company's mobile number fax number if it is there then provide the fax number of the company then email this is very important email address is used for to email the documents reports and other data from tally ERP 9 so for the purpose of mailing the documents reports data etc the email address should be correctly specified then website if a company is having a website the address the name of the website should be given here enter the official website of the company so 12 fields I have specified next 13th field is financial year from so this field requires the reports have to be prepared for a particular period of time as on a particular date so for that purpose the financial accounting is maintained for which financial year the financial year should be specified here financial year should be mentioned for the company tally rp9 will take 12 months from the date which is entered in financial year whatever date you enter here from that date 12 months period will be automatically taken by the tally erp package then books beginning from so actually on what date the books books will start the date which is specified in financial year from will be displayed automatically whatever date you specify in financial year from that date only the books of accounts will begin otherwise you may although you can enter the actual date on which the books of accounts begin from if you want to specify a different date from where the books of accounts are maintained you can change but automatically the books of accounts date will be same date as that we have specified in financial year now tally vault password the tally uh, ERP 9 package will give a password the tally vault will help to secure data of the company in an encrypted form by providing a password so this tally software package will provide a software will provide a I mean password for the security of the data so in case if the password is not the data will not be retrieved so carefully we have to preserve the password next one is use security control the data is very critical so there should be some security so ERP tally ERP 9 has security control where it gives authority to various users to access the data and they can enter alter delete the watches so the users will be given some control technique by using that control technique the data can be altered modified or changed like that so these 16 fields are given in creating the company so all these 16 fields must be entered the data must be provided only after that the company will get created now apart from that the currency information basic currency information should be provided to tally ERP 9 because the currency will be different for different countries so the information regarding the currency should also be given tally ERP 9 should know the information regarding the currency of the company and how the amount must be displayed on the screen and it should be reported so specific instructions should be given to tally ERP 9 regarding what currency we are entering the data is recorded in what currency so that the currency should be specified in the displayed format or in the reports format now the data regarding currency is base currency symbol every currency will have a symbol that symbol we have to select for example in India the currency is rupees so this is the symbol of rupees 
in america dollar the dollar symbol is this so like this we have to select what is the symbol of the currency we are going to use then formal name not only symbol but also we have to give the name also because every country will have the same i mean uh, uh, name of the currency will be same but the country will be different example india we have rupees in nepal that, that is also rupees so there will be confusion regarding rupees of india indian rupees and nepalese rupees so that's why we have to give the name so whenever we write rupees we should write indian rupees that we have to specify here number of decimal places so after decimal the fractional currency so how many decimals we should take in fractional currency like in india we have rupee is the currency and fractional currency is paisa so how many digits normally we use two digits to represent the paisa so that we have to specify here then suffix symbol to amount suffix symbol to amount so we can use the symbol as a prefix for example rupees 500 so we can write like this rupees 500 or dollar 1000 like this so it is prefixed the amount is prefixed by a symbol but some currencies the amount the symbol will be suffixed to the amount that means after writing the amount example yen yen so how we write 500 yen or 1000 lira so this currencies yen and lira are the currencies so the name will be suffix not prefix then show amount in millions when the amount is large we can write by different names like millions billions trillions or lakhs or crores like that so here we have to specify in the tally package itself what word we are using for large amounts like million billion etc next add a space between amount and symbol so whenever we write the amount and symbol there should be some space in between the symbol and the amount next number of decimal places for amount in words when we write in words how much the spaces should be left between the words then word representing amount after decimal so after decimal what is the word we are going to use example in india after decimal we use the word paisa so we have to specify here that after decimal the word to be used is paisa like this so these are the things we have to specify for creating the company after filling all the details and click yes to accept form so after giving all the details the complete data we have given for creating the company now the last thing is it is asking you have you given all the details yes or no if you click yes to accept the, now the new company is created after this the company will provide opening screen along with its name which is shown in the list of companies after creating when you go to the list of the company your name of the company will be displayed in the list of companies so normally in the previous examination in computerized accounting subject very frequently a theory question is asked regarding explain the steps or what is the procedure for creating a company so in this video i have explained you in detail how to create a company in tally erp9 software inshallah the next topic we'll discuss in the next video